To have you both here, thank you for coming. Uh, Sally, I am so thrilled that you are here at the show. I really, because uh, we met yes. many years ago. Yes. Do you remember when we met? It meant a great deal to me. It wouldn't surprise me if you've forgotten. How would I forget? I wouldn't ever forget that. It was the, your show. You were astonishing. All of Broadway was a bub. And um, I was sitting there with my son, and they said, would you like to come backstage? And I'm usually like, oh, no, 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 please. I just, you know, I love the show. I know. But then we just kind of, my son Sam, who makes me do these things, said, come on, come on, we have to go. And we sat in your dressing room, waited for you to come, and we said, I said to you, watch out, boy, you ain't leaving the United States for quite some time. It was the nicest thing. <laughs> it meant a great deal to me. It really did, and I'm so thrilled to have you here on the show. Thank you for finding the time uh, to be here. And Scott, we've got to give some congratulations to you. You, uh, you, have, had a, you have a new baby daughter. How old is she now? Yeah, yeah. she's uh, just, just three months old. Three months. Yeah. How is everything going? How are we doing at home? It's great. I love it. I, um, I feel like more of an adult this time. I also have an eight-year-old. Yes. Oh, and an eight-year-old. Uh, but I felt like a kid when I had that kid. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's great. I'd have a ton more kids, but it's tough on my wife, so I gotta... Yeah, is she sleeping? Is she sleeping? She just slept last night for 12 hours. <laughs> for the first... huge, yeah. But, I mean, parenting has changed a lot since you were young. We found this photo of you, Scott, with your father, uh -huh. James. Um, this is yeah. you and James. What's going on here? It feels <laughs> like an odd parenting choice. Yeah, well, first of all, he didn't let me smoke till I was seven, so... Right, that's... yeah. <laughs> That was before. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think t t times were different. You know. I, I think he gave me a beer when I was when I was eight or nine. So. But. Uh, Yikes. Yeah. And how are you? Look at me. I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Mentally, I'm I'm not so good. He's no. Turned no. Out. No. No. He, he, obviously, he never let me smoke. But he was a, a fun guy, and he would you know make fun for the picture. It's a, it's a great photo. What a wonderful thing to have. Now, Sally, uh, in a few weeks' time, you are going to receive a Lifetime Achievement Honour yes. at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. Yes. Uh, richly deserved. <laughs> richly deserved. What did you... What did I Talk me through it. What, no, not what, what did, did I do know. to get it? How did who you did feel I, and when... who did I have to do it to? How did you feel when you found out the news? I, I was, of course, thrilled and, and honored. I want to talk about his father and smoking and drinking. Mm. But, okay, <laughs> I, of course, honored. I mean, it's the actors. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's my tribe. It's, I, I feel more proud to be a part of them than, than any other tribe I could think of on Earth. Have you thought about what you're going to say? Are you ready for no, that? No, I, have, I haven't. I haven't thought about it. I mean, I've thought about it, but I don't. I haven't, you know, really gotten a hold of what it's going to be. Well, if so, you're unsure. Oh boy, here we go. We were thinking because we found this photo of you yeah. at the Golden Globes, yeah. uh -huh. um, which is you flying <laughs> over the crowd. You could yeah. do this at the SAG Awards. Yeah. What, what was? What's happening here? Why were you doing this? I'm thinking I want to kill myself as soon as I get down from this thing. <laughs> Did you not want to do this? I didn't want to do that. So how do you end up on the think, Because I was, you know, how was this was the flying. So I was 19. This was the. Uh, one of the, I think it was the second uh, Golden Globes, this, maybe the second Golden Globes Awards, something like that. Mm. And I was doing a show called The Flying Nun. Very popular and, one. Uh, yeah, and I really, I, I didn't want to do the show, I didn't want to do that, but it was 19, and everybody's kind of always saying, you know, you better do this, or you, you know, I mean, you, you may never work again, and you may, and I was, it took me a long time to say the word that just has, Two little letters in it. No. Yeah. <laughs> and wasn't John Wayne supposed to catch he you? Did. Is that right? John Wayne caught me, and I was headed right towards him. We had no rehearsal. I was going about 35 miles an hour. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm going, oh my God, look, there's John Wayne. Oh, I'm such a fan. And I, I thought, I'm trying to like acknowledge him, going, you know, like, hello, Mr. Wayne, you know, like a complete moron. And I saw him see me coming at him with this velocity. And I saw him, this big man that he was, sort of take a step, one step back, one step forward, like, okay, I can do this. She seems small, but oh my God, this is coming at me. And I just went, Pfft. and, um, you know, literally he died shortly after that. And I said, <laughs> I kind of went, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
minute, wait a minute. Could this have been? I, I just went thud right into his well, chest. Well, this is, I think, we should absolutely recreate this at the SAG Awards, and we look I, forward I to you doing so. probably not. <laughs> OK. <laughs> But, Scott, I, it's really about you today, and I never knew this. You're, of course, an incredibly successful actor, but your life has a real sliding doors moment in it where you... you there was a moment where you, you were a rapper, and you sure. were really, really great. We've got a clip here oh, wow. of Scott Kahn rapping. Have a look. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'd never heard it before. That's put your hands up yes, yes. by the hooligans, which is yes. the who, with a, a who and the A and a, and a Z on the end, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, what, why did this never blow up? Why have I never heard this before? Um, I don't know. Well, we, uh, we, had, we, were do, we were on tour with House of Pain in Cypress Hill. And we went to... to yeah, thank you. We went to, um, to London to do this show called Top of the Pops. Yes! Huge so music show. But I didn't know. I was 16 years old, and I get there, and they, they played a remix of our song, and it was like house music was a big thing at the time. Yeah. And we hated it. We said, we're not doing that. And they said, no, you have to do that. The record label said, this is what is popping right now, so you have to do the remix with this music. And we said, all right, fine, we'll do it. And we took all the per diem. The night before the show, we took off to Amsterdam and, and never showed up. You just uh, never showed up no, at Top of the Pops? No. And the record label the next day called us and said, you're no longer with this record label. And they dropped us. Which was good, because I was just trying to figure out a way to not go to high school anymore, so... Yeah. Um, but it, was it just two of you in the band? Yeah, me and a, a guy named Alan Mamon, who goes by The Alchemist now. He's a uh, producer. And he's one of the biggest producers in... He's, in the me, country. the greatest producer. In, yeah. In, in... And are you still in touch? Yeah, he's, he's a good So buddy. why don't you put this record out? We're going to do something. We don't know what we're going to do yet, but... Um, we're, I'm, we're all do the, I'm all in on the... I'm all in on the hooligans. All right. I can't all right. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot wait. Will you do it before April 27th so you can do your first premiere on this show? I'll talk to Alchemist. Talk to Alchemist. Yeah. Now, Sally, we've got to congratulate you on 80 for Brady. For anyone who doesn't know, explain what it's about and who you play. Oh, really? If you want to, you don't have to. It's okay. Up to you. Okay, well, I mean, we're like poop at a rodeo right now. We're like everywhere. Um, <laughs> um, it's just a, you know. Uh, was that that funny? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see. I like. I've been to a rodeo, so <laughs> oh, I got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, it's it is it's kind of it's kind of a great story about older women. You usually don't have great stories about older women. It's usually very predictable. Um, but this one is about four best friends who um, completely obsessed with Tom Brady and have to go to the Super Bowl in that phenomenal game that he mm. played in 16, I think it was, 2016. Um, and uh, um, they, it's, it is a romp of how they get to go to the Super Bowl and get in, and one of the um, characters is ill. And it's, 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 it's Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin and me and Rita Moreno, and um, it's just... It's absolutely brilliant.